Hi there friends, welcome back to Solid Gold Scripture Journals. I'm Marcy and this is a channel where I share ways for us to study our scriptures so we can find peace in Christ and gain scripture confidence. General Conference is coming up this weekend. It's a great time for us to gather as families, to listen to the prophets speak, and to really find that inspiration that we're looking for in our own lives. I've been taking notes at General Conference for many decades now, and when I first started, I would just had a notebook, and I would just write down all the, take notes of General Conference, like as if I was in a lecture, and I would just write down everything. And I was looking through my journals, and I just cleaned out my craft room here, and I looked for about five minutes, and then I, I just stopped. I could not find any of those ways that I used to study the scriptures. I've purged and cleaned my room and they have gone into the garbage somewhere along the way. Because if I want to look back on a conference talk in its entirety, I can just look online and find it word for word. So what I am seeking for now is just those piercing little comments and the spirit speaking to me and letting me know something is important. And then I write just that thing down and then I can come back and study it more later. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. And let's go do that. Okay. So here's what I do instead. This is from the last general conference and it is, it is one page. I would listen to conference and sometimes you have kids and, and they're doing things and you're not totally focused, but I would do my best to listen to conference, pay attention, and then I only wrote down things that were meaningful to me. Okay, I see this is actually October 2020, so it's a year ago conference, but I wrote down, Elder Bedner said, we can't know how we're doing until we are tested, and then I can think about that. Um, this I really loved. I read it again today. I really loved it. Sister Craig said, in raising my children in the gospel, why did I do that? And I should clarify, I'm not sure if Sister Craig said that or if that's something that I got from her talk. But one of the things I got was, um, did I raise my children in the gospel for the praise that I would get at church or for the praise of the world? Or did I do it because I love Jesus Christ? And that was something good for me to think about. Oh, here's the one where President Nelson spoke of the trial of testimony of his granddaughter. I can't remember what her trial was, but his response was myopic. And I got a kick out of that because, first of all, it's a good point. Myopic means nearsighted, not seeing the whole picture. But also it's like, wow, that was a really sensitive comment for a grandpa to make. So these are, this is all I have for my notes, and I really enjoyed the conference. I can look back and see the things that really mattered. Then what I like to do is take some of those talks that I really enjoyed, and I just have another special journal for those talks. So here, for example, I love this talk by Tad R. Callister, The Atonement of Jesus Christ. I thought he gave an excellent definition and purpose of the atonement of Jesus Christ. So I just went through, listened to his talk, um, printed it out, highlighted all the notes, made more notes. There's lots of scriptures that the general authorities quote, and then I can look up those scriptures and really enjoy getting into the talks that were especially meaningful to me, and not just every talk. Another one I loved was Turn On Your Light by Sharon Eubank. I actually did a video about that one in my 100 Ways to Study Your Scriptures. Then this was a great one, Spiritual Treasures by Russell M. Nelson. He gave us assignments. So I went through and I really studied this talk, and I took him up on all of his invitations that he asked us to do. And I even made a little worksheet at the end so I could make sure to do all the things he asked us to do. 
And then it, this was Doctrine and Covenants 107, which we just recently studied again in Come Follow Me. So it was kind of like a review and I could get more out of it because I was just reviewing it again. So that is how I study General Conference. I listen, I write down the talks that move me, and then I go back and study those talks in more detail. The beautiful thing is you don't have to wait for the enzyme to come along to study those talks. Usually you wait a day or two and you can download them from the computer, print them, study them, do all the things. It's wonderful. Technology is great in this case. So I hope you will enjoy your general conference. I hope you'll find the things you're looking for and seeking for. And I'll see you on Sunday with our next Come Follow Me lesson. Bye.